Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent. This is season seven with your host and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This podcast show is especially about kids like you. My dear Muslim kid listeners, you are incredibly special to me because if you think about it, I am a part of your imagination. While I'm telling the story, you are imagining it. Now that's really special. Let's get started. Mm, where's that imagination button that I have to push to start this episode? Oh, there it is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's story is called Akila and Amir's Restaurant. Akila was so proud of her origami flower. Origami was her hobby. This Japanese art of folding paper into decorative shapes and figures was what made Akila happy. She spent almost one hour trying to learn how to fold a square sheet of brightly pink colored paper. She wanted the paper to fold and crease into the shape of a blooming flower. She looked at the neat edges of her folded flower and excitedly rushed to show her mom. Mama, look, I did it! I finally folded it perfectly into a flower shape! Mama looked at the vibrant pink flower and smiled. Masha'Allah, you really did it, Akila. You know what this reminds me of? Akila waited for Mama to complete her thought. Mama paused, examining the origami closer. Oh, this reminds me of a fancy restaurant. You know how some restaurants have a centerpiece with flowers inside of it? Akila nodded, thinking to a fancy table set up with flowers, arranged beautifully in the middle. This pink flower looks like it should belong on the center of our table. Mama opened the cabinet and took out a little clear glass bowl. She placed the origami paper inside the bowl and walked over to the table to place it in the center. Ooh, perfect! Akila smiled. It was so nice to see how much importance Mama gave to her hobbies. Akila's little brother, Amir, stood on his tippy toes wanting to look at the paper flower in the middle of their table. Oh, I like it! Sister, can you make more of those? Let's fill the whole bowl full of origami flowers, he excitedly suggested. Akila loved the idea. She sprang into action, immediately heading towards her stack of origami papers. Her little brother Amir ran after her. Amir observed Akila as she folded the edges of each square sheet of paper. He glanced back to the table and announced, Let's play restaurant, restaurant! Akila giggled. She knew what this game was all about. She knew without her brother having to explain any further. Okay, go watch what Mama is making in the kitchen, and you can pretend you're the chef. I'll decorate our table, and you make food with Mama, Amir. Amir smiled wide. He was just about to dash to the kitchen where Mama was preparing to cook dinner when he realized one important thing. Oh, but what about Asad? He's going to pull off all of the flowers from the table while we play, Amir said, thinking to his toddler, two-year-old brother. Akila thought quietly. She wondered out loud. Hmm... How do we make him busy? Hmm, what does Asad like to do? Amir interrupted with a helpful idea. Oh, Baba can take Asad to the backyard. He loves watching the neighbor's chickens out there. I'll go tell Baba to take him outside. Akila was impressed. That's a perfect idea, Amir. She gave him a thumbs up and resumed her focused task. She took out another sheet of pink origami paper. 
Amir searched everywhere for Baba, but couldn't find him. He came to the kitchen to see that Baba was holding Asad in his arms. <laughs> oh no, I wanted to do that. Baba, I was going to be the chef here. Me and sister are playing restaurant, restaurant. Did you see her table decorations? Baba walked over to the table with Asad and spotted the beautifully folded flower. Oh, mashallah, Akila did that by herself? That's done so neatly. Asad began to lean towards the clear glass bowl. Gimme, gimme, gimme that one! He seemed to really want the flower that everyone was talking about. Amir began to panic. His entire restaurant restaurant game was going to be interrupted and ruined just like he feared. Amir could sense his frustration rising as he watched his little brother kick and squirm from his baba's arms. Mm, mm, I want to get up. I want it. Amir was desperately wanting to grab the beautiful centerpiece. In a split second, Amir yelled, Oh, chickens! Asad, are those chickens? Asad twisted the other way to look out of the backyard window. Asad actually did spot a chicken from the window, and he changed directions. Thank Allah that toddlers get distracted easily. Asad pointed to the backyard door and demanded, Take me outside, Baba. I go outside. I go see the chickens. Chicken, my friend. I'm coming. Chicken, pop, pop. Chicken. Amir was relieved to see his little brother and Baba exit the kitchen. Now he could finally enjoy Mama's company as her little chef in the kitchen. Mama and Amir were able to prepare many different things together. Amir sprinkled the cheese on their homemade pizza, and he also helped stir the sauce for the spaghetti. It smelled delicious in the kitchen. We're ready, sister! Chef Amir and Chef Mama are now done! Mama chuckled. I think I should boil some hot dogs for Asad. He'll want his favorite food, too. While Mama did the last task, Amir went to check on his sister. Akila could hear all the commotion and noise, but she didn't let that break her concentration. She just kept folding and creasing her origami paper. She was able to make four more beautiful pink flowers. Wow, these are pretty! Amir exclaimed. Akila and Amir returned to the kitchen, carefully holding the pile of flower origamis. They placed it inside the clear glass bowl and sat down. Baba and Asad returned from the backyard. Baba helped Mama set the table for dinner while the kids neatened the table mats. What a beautiful dinner table this is now. Akila and Amir, this feels so fancy and special. Akila smiled. Baba, I love it too. I want my dinner table to look like this in Jannah, Akila exclaimed, patting the pink flower origamis in the center. Baba chuckled. <laughs> oh, give me a minute to imagine this. He closed his eyes playfully and exclaimed, Hmm, wow. Mama interrupted, Akila, did you know that in the Quran, there is an ayah where Allah says, We shall provide them in plenty with all kinds of fruit and meat, anything they may desire. May Allah allow us to be among those that live in Jannah. May Allah be pleased with us in this life so that we can enjoy all the things that we may want in Akhirah. Mama made this dua while giving her kids a hug. Ameen. Now let's eat, Baba replied. Bismillah. Bismillah rahman rahim Akila ate her spaghetti extra slowly that evening. She was enjoying every bite, wondering how different and how amazing the version of spaghetti would be in Jannah. 
she looked around to her family, especially her toddler brother Asad. She also quietly wondered what her family would look like eating at a beautiful dinner table in Jannah. Thank you for listening to today's story by Mrs. Hashmi. This episode was sponsored by Sister Arma for her kids, Akila, Amir, and Asad, who all live in China. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.